because of Obama's standing, they, they really don't like the way Obama is handling it, and apparently they want to take. It has nothing to do with that. Iran is no threat to Israel. Iran's government was said to demand the uh, destruction of Israel, and and that was only from the Anglo-American press, controlled by a handful of individuals who decided that they would translate the president of Iran's speech a particular way to get a particular right. point across. Right, right. They, they didn't mean they wanted to see the, the Israel. Uh, Correct. They just said uh, that the Zionist state, they didn't even refer to it as Israel. They said the Zionist component of that state had no right to exist and was a, a, an evil upon the planet. Not that Israel was. For some reason, I thought this would be taking taking uh, place sooner than November. But everybody so, does, but it, it, in our in our data, it shows that that certain events start occurring on October 26th, ramp up through November 5th, and after November 5th, things start happening relative to uh, increase in military action and severe problems. And of course, we'll be pulled into that conflict. That's the uh, well. I mean, we won't be pulled. We'll be directed by the um, uh, uh, masters who tell the United States government what to do. The APAC and their lobbyists, the Queen, the Federal Reserve, those people in whose interest it is to slaughter humans, will demand that the uh, current uh, slave minion political elite of the United States go along with their plans. And as they did in World War II and World War I and all the wars beforehand, they will do so. And our military will be sorely used and abused by vicious, ugly corporate masters. Do you believe this is done just to revive the economy? No. So what's the reason this that. time? They don't, they don't care about that. The economy is crashing on schedule. Uh, they knew it would crash at a particular period in time. They worked greatly to extend that period of time until now. You have to understand, no paper currency has ever lasted beyond 72 years in modern history. China has had some that went longer than that, but as a rule, paper currencies collapsed 72 years to 85 years in about that range, and ours was due to collapse. It was supposed to collapse, or, or it was its natural lifespan would have had it collapse at the time that Nixon took us off the gold standard or shortly thereafter, but it was propped up until now for their purposes. So just like cars have planned obsolescence, obviously the, this economy is planned on a planned obsolescence basis, if you will. Why do we keep plugging in so much money and, and, and quote unquote printing money? Why questions. I don't answer why questions because those go to intent. If you okay. want to ask me how, what, when, where, that I can answer. But I can not, hardly even guess my own intent most often, let alone those of any other person. Okay, let me rephrase that. What is the purpose of the bailouts? What is the purpose of, of putting so much money into it? Okay, in my estimation, it is a last gasp effort to fund <clears throat> while there is still. Uh, value in currency flowing through the system. It's an attempt to marshal resources to what might be called the shadow government, the black ops people, those people that really control things. Bear in mind that the President of the United States has a really good security clearance, but there's 27 layers above him. There's 27 layers of information he's not allowed to know. Those are the people that are taking the money. So in reality, it's only an illusion that we go into the polls November every four years. No, it's, that's perfect reality, but you're voting for Crook A or Crook B. And they right. both are owned by Mob Boss C. Undeniability. Would there ever be undeniability of the extraterrestrial presence on Earth? Yes. When do you see that happening? It, again, it's a large mass of people involved. So if you're talking the whole planet, it'll take maybe a year and a half or two years from the initial big surge that will occur later in this year and early in 2010. But that was when the process will begin. Is is by March of 2010, you'll be you will be able to sit there and say, oh yeah, he was right. In the last three months, the following things have occurred. You know, Cliff, for the first time, we've seen CNN really focus on. Dr. Erica Mitchell, Stephen Bassett, and other people who talk about disclosure for an hour or more. They feature all of them yeah, last Monday I mean, about the ex-conference. Exactly. T tell us what you think about that. I, it's, on, it's on plan. It's tracked. There are certain um, hurdles that exist within the powers that be in terms of their mental appraisal of human beings. And in order to overcome those hurdles and to shepherd and guide, if you will, it's a very polite word, uh, the human consciousness to certain conclusions, they need to have certain things appear at certain times. Unfortunately for them, events are starting to spiral out of control, and we're about to hit a very large 
increase in that spiraling that will test their ability. And according to our data, sometime over the course of summer, one of their three main arms of control uh, will disappear. Now, bear in mind, just because the currency and the dollar crashes doesn't mean that the powers that be lose control. In fact, it allows them to consolidate and tighten up on certain things while their minion classes, the political elites of the world, go thrashing around with budgets and so on. The power elite are, in, in effect, actually consolidating. So they're going to be very upset when one of their three mechanisms for control of the population sort of departs over the course of the summer and into perhaps December. Well, Bukel, if that, that means that if we become weaker, they become stronger. Um, well, I wouldn't want to phrase it that way, okay, because it's a little, it's a much more, there's much more complexity involved in the relationship than is a, in, inherent um, in that statement. So, but to a certain extent, you're correct, but let's look at it in terms of energy. If, if we, have, we as the populace had a certain amount of energy and we started directing it to certain things and they were able to feed off that energy, then we would be reduced by the amount of energy that was taken away. But it doesn't leave us necessarily in a weakened state because the minute we stop directing energy that way, they become weak. Does that make sense? I'm I've been getting a lot of emails from people who keep seeing all these trained uh, tracks full of wagons, FEMA. Do you see that too? No. The powers that be are certainly in a, in a situation where they will have their minion class, the uh, p political elite, and the political elite will follow their orders and have their minion class, the military, attempt to control the populace. And the powers that be will use the press as well as other uh, paramilitary influences like um, police forces and so on to attempt to control. But the East Coast was really bad. I saw lots of freight cars draped in black cloth, soft light cloth, like crepe paper. These freight cars were loaded with bodies, men and women and children. Starved bodies. Bodies sick from strange diseases that have died. Oh, that's it, that East Coast, it gets hit real hard, really hard. And the freight trains haul the bodies to the Dakotas and throw them in the great Auroras because they're dying so dang fast no caterpillar cat can keep up with digging holes. Well, they put them in the Auroras because the holes are already made. Just pull up alongside there and tilt the beds or whatever and the bodies spill out and fall down into those great holes. And then they go back and get more and more and more and more. You wonder if it'll ever end. Our children. You know, it's bad enough, adults, but our children. And you Indians, if you think that you're going to miss out, boy, you better have another thing coming. It's going to be all across the USA. Sure, it's going to get hit hardest from the East Coast. At least the trains are coming from that way. But I guarantee you, death is going to be so great in the United States. <laughs> you wonder if there's an engineer able to pull the throttle on a freighter on the train's front end. Terrible folks. We're bringing this all on ourselves, you idiots. I'm part of it, and every one of you are part of it. You wonder where you're going to get the money to pay your gasoline for your car or your heat. And then you wonder where, where you're going to come up with all that show and tell, like the new jet water ski and the new car. And I tell you, you're worried about the wrong dang things. There's something far more important than keeping up with the Joneses. It's keeping your heart right with the Creator. Living the way you were supposed to live in love, the way you were born, so 
innocent. Hindu are so-called sinful, disobedience to God, that's what that means. Well, you were never born a sinner. No man or woman is. No child is born a sinner. But they're born into it and accept it and they just start feeding on it. And then they start throwing that food out as they go out to other little innocents so that they follow after mama and daddy. Forget God, go get a jet ski. Jeez, you're idiots. You're bringing it on yourself. Earthquakes all over the place. My gosh, don't lay down on some beach to get a sun bath at some time, I tell you. But it just spread out from bigger cracks, like breaking an egg. You've got a big opening with a lot of little cracks in the shell. It's all over.